Hey folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to transform Creo to old Pro Engineer 2001 and how to reuse really old features. And I got the question if it is possible to use it because the sweep feature for now use only external sketch and if it is possible to use the internal. So I found this way and let's try. I will start directly from the beginning. So if you will start a new assembly, for example, and we will specify name and come from OK. On the top on the top menu, you are able to write legacy. And as you can see, if you will select the legacy, legacy is not in the ribbon, so you cannot find it. But if you will hit this button, the system will transform your Creo directly to really old style to Pro Engineer 2001. And if you would like to use the old feature, yeah, you can see here that is everything here in the drop down menu or directly in the menu here. So if you would like to place component in the old style menu, so you can do it. And also you can create, for example, dating planes and so on, or cosmetic feature, or you can see here that is this really, really old features. One additional note, what I'd like to add, if you need to switch off the legacy mode, you need to select application standard. Yes, yeah, so if you will select application standard, the system will go back and you are able to see the ribbon again. So if I will select a new 3D model and I will specify the name, come from OK, the system again start with the ribbon with Creo 8, for example. And again, over here, if I will write legacy, again, I am able to select this functionality. And as before, now I have see, I am able to select old features. For example, I will go through. So you have to go from top to bottom and what is black is selected. So for example, we would like to create new feature. So feature, create, protrusion and the sweep feature. And if you will select sweep and it will be solid. So OK. And if I will come from done, the system asks me on the left bottom corner, specify the trajectory. If you would like to sketch trajectory or select. Now request was that we would like to sketch. So we will select the sketch trajectory and the system asked me for the plane. So I am able to select the plane on the fly. So make datum, but we can select and use the existing one. So we will specify the plane. The system will ask me about the orientation in the sketch. So you see that it's still read then system read the information from Pro Engineer 2001 logic and orientation. We can specify, for example, this sketch will be to the left. Yes, yeah? so we will select left and then you will specify that it will go left and everything is as you specified. Again, over here you can see the old menu and also on the top is the menu from 2001. So yeah, perfect. And what is necessary to do is create a shape. For example, we will simply create a circle. It's a base shape and base sketch for the sweep. If I will hit the confirm button, now the system asks me if I would like to use the other the interfaces or no interfaces. For now I will use the no interfaces. And if I will spin over here, we will create a shape. So it's up to you what you will specify. So for example, this is good enough. Yeah, or we can specify something difficult and we will delete and we will use the all this functionality from right menu. The sweep section, as you can see where this arrow is placed, you are working on this one. So now we are working on the section for the sweep. And if I will finish, the system will create for me the sweep feature. Also, you can go through to the menu and have a look what is in the insert menu. And over here, it's again a couple of new functionality, but also the really old one. So for example, if you jump into advanced, you can see here that is the blend from file, toroidal band, flatten quilt and so on. So let's try to investigate and maybe you will reuse this old functionality with your Creo and let's see. Thanks for the question, likes and donation. Bye, Vladimir.